Okay, so, um, last night I watched Talk to Me for the first time, and it was a film, alright, yeah, um, Acting was really great overall. Everyone brought their A game, but the star of the show, in my opinion, was the actress who played Mia. I don't even know her name. Um, basically, acting from everyone involved was insane, especially considering how young they are. I mean, they all were at least in their 20s or late teens. Well, Except for the adults in the cast, you know, obviously, and me as dad and um, mother, Miranda Otto, she was good, like usual. I mean, it's Miranda Otto. She's usually good in everything she's in. Um, it was weird, though. Uh, practical effects for everything really were amazing some of it in particular the one scene you know the one i'm talking about uh that was really fucking uh, i'm not you uh, you know like i've seen a lot of really fucked up movies recently in just recent memory and i kind of got used to gore again because when I was a kid, I looked at shock videos that I shouldn't have and saw a bunch of gore there. But, um, the, um, that scene in particular, it was really fucking crazy. The violence was particularly visceral and just... It was portrayed in a way that you don't usually see in movies, you know? Usually the violence is portrayed in sort of a Hollywood manner, if you know what I mean. It doesn't seem real. This fucking, this looked real. I mean, obviously wasn't, but it, 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 it reminded me of some of those videos I saw, basically. Like, when he was doing what he did, I was reminded of some shock videos I saw when I was younger that I shouldn't have seen, honestly. Kind of wish I hadn't, because it's all in there now, forever. And you know, I mean, it's totally fine. It's, 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 it's not like that's permanently changed my brain in any way. No, totally not. Um... Basically, I really liked this movie now that I've kind of gotten a bit of distance from it. Because for some reason, this is the part that really weirded me out about it. Um, but anyway, I should probably actually do the rest of the review first. This is unscripted, by the way. This is just initial impressions. I'll probably do a full-out review later because I liked it that much. Um, basically... <clears throat> Sorry, my voice is still hurting from that four-hour recording I did, but it got deleted because it didn't record the entire thing. It was corrupted and shit. Basically, cinematography was crazy. Like, for a debut film, this was really well shot. Um, the montage scene was... <laughs> that was fucking cool. Um, all of the characters, though... I just, I mean, they're well-written. They were well-written. They seemed like actual people. They seemed like actual people, you know, but they were fucking morons. Like, I, I may be a fucking young in myself, but no. If, if I was there, there's no fucking way you could get me to touch that thing. Even, no. That shit, you don't mess with that shit. Um, the ending was crazy. 
that is a fucking bleak as fuck depiction of the afterlife. Holy fuck, man. Um, Um, okay, now I can talk about the thing that kind of freaked me out when I was basking in the in the afterglow of it, you know, when I finished the film, and I kind of had digested it for about five minutes. Um, this really is weird to me, because it's happened a couple times now when I'm watching films, and I don't even know what it is, but it's this... It's this reaction I have where if it's an intense scene, if I'm, I don't know, if it's an intense scene and I'm actually into the movie, I start like having physical reactions to it. Like for this one, I started hyperventilating and I was almost crying. And when she did that to her dad, um, I... I, I audibly gasped and was like, <gasps> like that, that I don't understand what's going on there. I'm not, I don't usually do that. So this was really weird because afterwards when I was sitting at my, in, at my desk over there, um, the reality of how weird that is hit me. And it was like, why did I do that? Why was I hyperventilating? Why was I acting like that? Because in the moment it was fucking, it felt it was genuine. Like I knew it was genuine. I was, I was. This wasn't fake. And then afterwards, I was sitting there like, why was I like that? What is going on? And I, I like, I guess part of it can be chalked up to the fact that I lost my grandfather recently. Well, relatively recently. It, it's almost been a year now, which is kind of insane. Um. Great. It's a spin here. Um, I really hope I don't have a bit of an episode on the day. Uh, if, you know, I think part of it might have been the whole grief aspect that's in the film, but it's really not that focused on that. It's, I mean, it kind of is because it's central to me as character, but at the same time, I don't, I don't get why I was, why I was doing that. Like, I legitimately can't understand it which is confusing me. It's really weird. It's really weird. Holy shit. I just noticed how red my hair looks in the sun. That is insane. Because like, if I turn it here, it doesn't look that way. Turn it here, doesn't look like that. Put it here, looks red as fuck. What is going on? <laughs> like, it's like, um... Yeah, I'm in. This is probably my favorite outfit I have. But yeah, overall, I really liked Talk With Me. I'll probably do a full, full out review of it at some point. That'll be cool. Um, I have a list over here. I have a list over here of films that I want to see. I mean, it increases over time, but right now I have um, In a Violent Nature, which... I wanted to watch when it came out because I thought it was going to be on Shutter. It's not on Shutter yet, which is pissing me off, I got to admit. And then I want to see, I saw the TV glow, which I wanted to see in theaters because it's it's directed by Jane Shundlin. And I really liked her first film. Um, We're all going to the World's Fair. I was fucking crazy good. I loved that. And everything I've heard about, uh, I saw the TV go, is making me want to see it even more. Um, then I have Poor Things, directed by Yorgos Lanthimos, because it's it's Lanthimos. I want to see it. That's really all I need to say. Um, and then, of course, talk to me after that, but I just watched it last night, and I gave it a wow out of five. Then I want to see Long Legs, because... Oz Perkins, he's one of my favorite directors. I love every single one of his films, like all of them. They're all amazing. My favorite being, I am the pretty thing that lives in the house. You want to see my thoughts on that? I did a review on my channel. Go check it if you want to or don't. I don't give a shit. 
Then I want to see a naked lunch. Cronenberg, man. Really want to see that. Um, I read the read the book by Burroughs, and it's it's a trip. It's it's something. It's a it's a book, all right. Especially when you realize what inspired it. Holy shit. Um, it just looks fucking weird, and I love weird films. And then I want to see Dead Ringers, also by Cronenberg, because it's Cronenberg, and Jeremy Irons is the main is the main star in it. I love that dude. He's amazing. <laughs> After that, I want to see The Tunnel, which is this Australian found footage horror film about these people to go into this tunnel to try and make something on this homeless problem, whatever the fuck, and there's a monster down there. Ooh, spoopy, he wants your eyes or something, I don't know. And then I want to see Anatomy of the Fall, because it sounds right up my alley. And the main actress apparently speaks English, French, and German in the film, all three, at certain points. And I, that just sounds amazing to me because I'm not my first language, my first language, my, my, my native language is obviously English, as you can tell, but I can also speak German. Well, I can't speak it, but I can read it pretty well. I'm, I'm fluid in it basically when it comes to reading and translating and French as well. It's the same. So it's like, why not? I want to see it. Plus, it's 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 it's, it's a film. It's a film that's really good. You know, it, 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 I've heard it's really good. Basically, um, this is just probably going to be a rant, rambling video. Honestly, I, it was started out as a review of Talk to Me. I was just be rambling for some reason. You know, um, ordered this bad boy because I wanted it and um because I saw the, the TV show, the TV series, HBO, uh, with Paul Giamatti, and I literally can't read anything John Adams wrote anymore without hearing his voice. It's, it's crazy. But yeah, this is really good so far. Um, I wasn't expecting to relate this much to Adams as a person. Like, in the show, you don't really get that much of his internal thoughts, and it starts... It starts already when he's like in his late thirties. I'm pretty sure, and with the Boston Massacre shit, like th 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 this actually goes into depth about his like thoughts and his shit and all that stuff. So far, at least, and I'm really liking it. It's it's very interesting. And then I also ordered this bad boy because I got a free book. I got some free book on thrift books. I heard that Namar James is really fucking good, so you know, I've read his, I've read some of it already, and yeah, I, I, I've exclusively read it at night in the dark, with just this, this bad boy. Um, oh, come on, really? Oh, you're joking. Oh no, it's working. It's just right out that's all but yeah just that just that in dark and reading this and let me tell you it's spooky and last night we went out to the fucking store and shit and got some stuff and I got these because they're really good caramel apple pops. They're, they're just amazing. Okay, they're good. You, you should try them if you haven't already. I like them a lot. I don't like actual caramel apples because I don't like apples, but these are good. There's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of shit going on in here, you know, um, all of these little drawings I've done, I swear, I'm becoming an artist, I, it's really weird. Mm, I'm trying to pull this out, but this is, this is my sona, 
Darcy. It's not colored in, but yeah, you can see Jude on June 16th. He's cute. Wood Smulch, obviously. I mean, he's my Sona. Of course I would. Like, bruh. Who are you kidding? And then I drew my two boys. Because I love these two. These are, they're, they're adorable. They're amazing. And my fic, my fanfic of those two is coming along swimmingly. We're getting, I'm getting real close to the end of it, surprisingly. It's probably going to be like 30 chapters. I don't even know. 30, 30 ish chapters around there. It's going to be wild. It's going to be wild, all right. Working on chapter 29 right now, because my mom... I'm still working in chapter 29. It's crazy. I remember my first chapter 28, but yeah. I think it's so long. And I would show you some of the other art I've done, but uh, YouTube wouldn't like it, so. Which, by the way, fuck you, YouTube. Fuck you and your puritanical bullshit. Oh, and your hatred of your users. You're trying to do the ad block thing. Canceling all the ad blocks. Well, let me tell you, you greedy, money-hungry corporate pigs, that's never going to happen. In fact, all you're doing is driving more people to ad block with these stupid, retarded things. Fuck you. This is why I pirate, because these companies are fucking horrible. I swear. I have pirated so many things in the last three years, all because of corporate greed. Like, I, it's stupid. How are companies this fucking retarded? Oh, let's fuck over our consumers and shit. Blah, 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 blah. Don't even give me none of this bullshit about how Pepsi is illegal. Fuck off. Sure, it might be legal technically, but it's the moral thing to do at times. Like, for example, games that are no longer being sold anywhere. And the companies don't give it out at all. And the only way you can get them is if you buy them off of eBay or some shit. Yeah, no, fuck you. I'm pirating that. Fuck you. But yeah, I saw the fucking Silent Hill 2 remake story trailer today, and it fucking sucked. Oh my god. The acting. The acting is terrible. Like, sure, it's competent or whatever. It sounds more natural or whatever. You don't want natural sounding dialogue in a Silent Hill game, okay? That's not the fucking point of a... The dialogue is supposed to sound dreamlike. It's supposed to sound stilted. That's the entire fucking point. Fuck you, Blue Routine. Fuck you, Konami. God. What is so hard for these companies to understand? <laughs> and take it from someone who's gay as fuck, Maria, she looks like... Like, she shouldn't be like that. There's this fucking story reason why she looked like that in the original game. You know, James's whole sexuality and all that, and oh boy, ba 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 ba. Like, and even if all of that was in check, even if all that stuff worked out, even if it was all perfect in the remake, it still wouldn't work. Because the main thing about that game that skyrocketed into popularity was the story. And the story is known by literally everyone. So you're it's not going to succeed, basically. And because it's not going to succeed, um, Konami's going to cancel all of the other Silent Hill projects, including the one I'm actually excited for, Silent Hill F, 
which is being written by Ryukyushi07, Dudura Higurashi. Like, bitch, are you fucking insane? Like, if that gets cancelled, I'm gonna be angry. Because Konami was already a bunch of greedy, petty, motherfucking corporate pigs over PT. Over fucking Silent Hills back in 2014. Fucking hate them. Oh my god. Fucking insane what these companies do. I fucking hate them. You know what else I hate? This fucking election bullshit. I'm so sick and tired of hearing about it. It doesn't fucking matter. Okay? It doesn't fucking matter who wins. It's going to be shit no matter what. Okay? Trump's terrible. Kamala's terrible. I'm just glad Biden's out. That dude is... That dude needs to be put in a fucking nursing home. He deserves to spend out the rest of his days in a nursing home or with his family or some shit. He should not still be in office. It's it, it's elder abuse at this point. <laughs> like, like, at least Trump is at least trying to listen to libertarians, but at the same time, it's like, he's terrible. Okay, he's fucking terrible. I hate him. I hate Kamala. I hate both of them. They're both fucking terrible but oh, because the cathedral put them in place, now we just have to wait for that shit. Well, I shouldn't say put Trump in place, they hate him, because he challenges their whole, you know, control. Because, oh no, how dare someone be, whatever bullshit, you know, it's stupid. And I don't even like the dude. He's an egomaniac. He's He's terrible. There's a reason I haven't voted at all in my life. And I'm only turning 21, 22 this year. I've only been able to vote for a couple years. And I haven't voted at all. Period. Because what's the fucking point? There's been no candidate in the time I've been able to vote. That I would want to vote for. That supports my, my beliefs at all. I'm not voting. Ever. Until someone I actually trust is in that is in that position. I was going to vote for Vivek Ramaswamy, but, you know, he dropped out to support Trump for some fucking retarded reason. I guess because the Republicans are a bunch of fucking idiots and just stuck with Trump again. Fuck the Republicans. Fuck the Democrats. Just terrible party. Terrible parties all around. There's no be there's no better side. They're both they're both one side of the same coin. Fuck both of them. Oh, you want you want no more war? Well, fuck you on both accounts. Oh, you want taxes gone? Well, fuck you on both accounts. Basically, taxes shouldn't exist. Taxation is theft. Fuck you. And then I look at what Malay is doing Argent in Argentina, and I get so fucking jealous because everything he's doing is working. It's literally what I what I've been saying is go, would happen since he won. He's doing what he said he was going to do. He's delivering on his campaign promises, and those campaign promises are paying out big time, which is crazy. And like, it's, it's, it's amazing because the, the libertarian economic model has now been tested in reality for the first time in history, basically, and it fucking works. And the fact we can't have that here pisses me off. Uh, yeesh. This shit makes me so fucking angry, I swear. Um, anyway, I've rambled on long enough. Uh, bye bye fuckers. Bye, motherfuckers. Suck a dick. Bye-bye.